Hello guys, I just wanted to show you how it's easy to reuse HTML front-end components from NPM uh, because recently I'm hearing a lot of people saying that NPM is good only for server-side code but that's not true and I just wanted to show you an example where we're gonna recreate this this nice looking page with two eyes tracking our mouse coordinates uh, and we're gonna start from nothing to actually the same experience. First of all, you see this folder has nothing at all. And let's start by uh, creating a package JSON here file. So package JSON. Now this is an npm package now. And <laughs> let's install the component for these eyes. I call it looker on. We just install it and just save it for future reference in our package JSON. Uh, this is done. Now we have node modules, and let's create an index.html file. Very simple HTML file. We're gonna include one script tag, which references a bundle.js file, and we're gonna create a new style, and the style would be style CSS. These files do not exist yet. If you open this in the browser, you see it has two failed requests. There is no such files. Let's go ahead and create them. So first of all, we create index.js file. We create a new instance of Looker, which is uh, Looker on component, and then we're gonna create uh, and attach this component to document body. So now. Uh, this file is called index.js, but our index.html references bundle.js. There is no bundle.js in, in our folder yet, and there is no style CSS in our folder. Let's fix that. So, to create a bundle.js, we're going to use Browserify, which is compile index.js into bundle.js. And if we refresh this page, now you see two eyes appeared here. They do not look really great, they do not look the same as here. It's because we are still missing styles, but let's fix the, the overall page style here because, you know, those are local styles and let's let's make them the page look prettier than this. So this is this is our normal style and let's say our body should have background color 2f2f2f to F to F. and I want to have I want to have full width and height so it's gonna be 100% width oh position absolute and width is 100% and height is 100% and I don't want to see any scroll bars so uh, we're gonna say overflow hidden now format this, this looks good if you refresh this, this is better, this looks more similar but those eyes are still black and uh, the style CSS is still not fun so let's create style CSS because style is actually defined in the looker component and to extract that style into our style CSS file we're gonna use parsilify so we just pass entry point to parsilify and say uh, output every style reference which you find in the dependency graph of this component into the style CSS so if you do style CSS here you see it extracted those styles from uh, looker on component and now if you refresh this page this looks exactly uh, like this page, except we do not we do not track mouse yet. Let's go ahead and fix that. Um, so how do we do that? Let's edit our index.js file, save this guy into local component, and then once mouse moves, mouse move, we're gonna listen to event and say, I look at E client x, x and e client y, and just to yeah, this is good. Let's recompile with browser defined to bundle JS. Refresh this page, and you see those eyes start tracking us. Very very easy to reuse components, and let's actually see what's inside those. Uh, look your own component. So you can go to node modules and see the entire source code of that. Uh, first of all, you're gonna notice that there is style. This is exactly the same style which we've seen in the in the output style here, right? The style is defined in the in the package JSON of this Lookaround component, so that Parsilify knows how to extract that. And then there is also a template here, which is an SVG template, exactly the same as 
SVG which is required to render this size. So this is the SVG template. Now we need someone to inline this SVG template and that's that's done by Browserify and BRFS transform. So every time when I'm Browserifying this module, I'm actually getting this template inlined into my bundle. So if you go here, you see this is template, the template is inlined here versus our index.js here it just says uh, read file sync from the local directory. So Browserify and BRFS uh, transform knows how to inline this template, so the final bundle can includes this template. And the looker on component itself it just accepts the parent here and it attaches the current template to the parent. And then we are exposing a very, very simple uh, API here just to let users uh, point to the screen coordinate. So overall, this is 50 lines of code, very simple math over here to just track position of the mouse and uh, find the angle where we want to look at. And that's it. Very, very simple. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. Uh, thank you.